Okay, I think I have all my beverages. Ready to go do some shoulders and probably some abs and cardio and all that fun stuff. I really want to film today's shoulder workout for you guys, so hopefully I can do that. I just hate filming myself in the gym because I feel like people just like look at me funny, but it's just something I need to get over. So, yeah. I was gonna bring my GoPro, but I'm just literally gonna use my phone today, so sorry if it's shit quality. But uh, here we go. I really wanna build my shoulders, so I start with um, some heavy compound movements and then I move into a lot of supersets. Such a good song! Another good one. My water bottle was just upside down in my bag and I just nearly had a freak out, but it didn't spill. Yes. Okay, let's get into the workout. I started with a warm up on the stairs for about five minutes, just trying to get that heart rate up and get nice and warm. Then I started with a shoulder warm up. So I did about 15 of each of these exercises, just starting with a really low weight, just five pounds, just getting the rotator cuffs warmed up because my shoulders, for some reason, don't like to recover quickly and they get really sore so I like to do these just to warm them up and to prevent injury so just doing some bent arm lateral raises here and then some more rotator cuff exercises I really like this one it starts to engage my back a little bit more hit all the areas of those delts so that's just a good little warm-up I like to do before I get into my working sets so here I am starting with a shoulder press on the Smith machine. So like I said, I'm trying to get my shoulder strength uh, up a little bit more as well as kind of creating that rounder shape because for some reason my shoulders don't like to grow. So I'm starting with three sets of 10 and I move on to more pyramids and supersets. So then I started with a Arnold press, little pyramid. So I start with 15 with a lower weight and then I'll move to 10 with a higher weight. I think I did 10 pounds for 15 and then 15 pounds for 10. And then I would rest and do some abs in between and then pick it up and continue. Oh yeah, it's killing me, push. Yep, you can see it all over my face. <laughs> and then I move into some abs, but let me just shake on my arm because I cannot feel my arms. <laughs> and then I kind of do these knee tuck-ins for abs. So I touch my toes down and try and get them underneath the bench and then bring my knees up to my chest. Now I'm moving on to some bent over flies. So see that I'm holding on to two different weights in one hand. So I'm gonna bend over and I'm going to do 10 at this weight and then drop one of the weights and then do 15, then 20 reps back to back to back. So there I am dropping the weights, picking up the fives now, doing some rear flies. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it. Then I'm gonna drop that and pick up the next smallest weight and then try and do as many as I can here, get to 20. So this really burns your rear delts and really gives you some nice shape in the back, which is what I'm really trying to achieve. Start at 20 now with the low weight, and then I'll go back up and do 15 at the next weight. Whew, yep. And then I'll do 10 again with the most weight. There I am with all the plates in my hand. And then I do some leg lifts in between. So holding onto the bench and trying to bring those hips up and toes up as fast as I can. Really crunching using your abs. I really love this one. Then a little side plank dips. And these ones really kill too, but they really get the side obliques involved and I love them. It's my new favorite. It kills, but I love it.
then I like to just do some random stuff just for fun. So this one, I was just trying to see how long I could hold, hold, hold before dropping my legs. And this was really killer, especially after doing all those abs. Now moving on to my favorite two exercises that I've been doing lately for shoulders, which is reverse pec deck. So really feeling it again in those rear delts and your back. So I'm starting with 20 here, and then I'll go over and do lateral raises immediately, another 20. And then I'll go back to the reverse pec deck, do 15, then go back to the lateral raises, do 15, and then 12, 10, and then back up without any rest, just going back and forth between both exercises. So here I'm moving it, going to another 15, and then back to the lateral raises doing 15 with a higher weight this time. And then as you go down in reps, you go up in weight, and then reverse. <laughs> I really like this one. All right, then I just decided to have a little bit of fun with some ab and core work, something that I just kind of saw somebody do, and I was like, whoa, that looks really hard, but I really want to try it. So just kind of doing crunches on the ball, and as you come up, lifting the medicine ball above your head and then bouncing it off the wall. And a couple times I almost smoked myself in the face, but I think I was getting the hang of it. <laughs> Then I did these other side twists that I saw my friend doing in the gym, and he's really strong, so I wanted to try them. <laughs> and again, with the medicine ball, you twist, touch it to the ground, and then slam it against the wall hard enough that it comes back to you. And then make sure that you're leaning back and then really feeling in those side obliques. And then I sped up this video so you don't get like super bored of me doing it over and over and over again, but just so you get the idea of what the exercise looks like. And I encourage you guys to give stuff a try, just like me. Like This is my first time doing both of these things, so I just wanted to show you them. And that is all. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Okay, well, my phone died, so I couldn't show you everything, but showed you pretty much the workout, and then I just did some cardio after. <sighs> and then I wanted to go get some groceries, but forgot my wallet at home, so now we got an extra stop, but yeah. Maybe I'll make some protein balls. <gasps> oh, I look like a tomato. That's okay. Random thought of the day. If you're like a truck driver or like a bus driver, and then you get like in your normal car after driving all day, like do you go to make like a wide turn and then you're like, oh shit, like I don't have to, I'm in my small car. You know? I don't know. I'll stop talking. Well, that's all for today's video. If you like this, please give the video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel. And please leave a comment below if you like this kind of video or what kind of things you'd like to see in the future. Thanks, guys. Love you so much. Bye. Mwah.